Mm. Pro Vicks retired at five in Montgomery County. The victims of a violent home invasion are sharing their story with Fox 5. It happened last night at their home in Bethesda. The victims, a woman and her mother. Fox 5's Bob Barnard in that neighborhood tonight with their story. Bob? Hey there, Marina and Jim. This happened last night around 8 o'clock here in East Bethesda. Montgomery County police telling us the suspect is a woman, 40 years old, says she's from Alabama and was out here looking for an ex-husband or an ex-boyfriend and broke into a random house. I thought it was just, I was in a dream, a nightmare, you know. We met Linda and her daughter, Kristen, at their home in East Bethesda. It's the day after they were victims of a brutal attack inside their house that started when the doorbell rang. So I opened the door and she said. See, to that's the problem right there. Bethesda is a very good neighborhood. I mean, it's a wonderful neighborhood. We've covered it several times here. Wonderful glider neighborhood on the outskirts of Washington, D.C. Um, beautiful neighborhood. They're getting a little increased crime since 2020. Sun's starting to hunt out there. Um, but this opening your door at night just because somebody knocked on it, do, would you would you do that in Philly? Like, is that is that something you would do, Mystic Philly? Like, like somebody knock on your Hell door? Hell no. Open? Hell no. No, 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 no. Because no random person just going to show up knocking know how. Like, no, you got to know who's coming. And that's all, like, that's always been a thing, even since I was younger. Like, no, you just don't, you know, pop up on people's. <laughs> Fuck no. Well, in this neighborhood, you can do that. There's no sons out here. You can do that in this neighborhood. You can leave your door. You can, yeah, that, you can leave your yeah. You can. Yeah, you can not lock your doors in this neighborhood. Yeah, it was like that when I was in Vermont, when I was in Burlington. Like it, it was, it was just mm -hmm. far. It, you know, it was somewhat foreign to me. But and this was in a main city, Burlington. But you know, I was just like, wow. I was like, you can actually sleep. You know, I was up there with one of my um one of my neighbor's sons. He he lives up there. He goes well. He went to college up there, but you know, he got mm -hmm. family and everything up there now. But um. Yeah, like he, like he, he slept with he slept with his door open, wide open, and I'm like, yo, this shit is foreign to me, bro. <laughs> He's like, yeah. yeah, I know, it's strange, yeah, yeah. It's called high trust societies. They have high trust societies where you know, and this they weren't expecting this woman. This woman was a glitch. She was a glitch in their in their matrix. Everyone hit the like button, man. Support the channel via PayPal, Cash App, or the super chat. Take the five dollar challenge, guys. Take the five dollar challenge. Um, high trust societies, man. And then when you bring in that's this is why, this is why, and this is a very, very liberal area. I mean, very liberal. And these women would vote for anything liberal. I mean, whatever it was. If it was if liberals said um whatever the fuck, think of anything crazy. If they said to do that, these women would vote for it. Very liberal area, very very liberal area. But these neighborhoods are very very white. Like these neighborhoods out here are white as snow. They don't live around no black folk, but they're very very liberal. That started when the doorbell rang. So I opened the door, and she said, "Did does Sean Paul live here?" And I said, "No, I I don't know any Sean Paul." And I closed it and I locked it. Seconds later, Kristen says she could see the door handle shaking. And then I saw from here she was trying to get in. And that's when I think I called 911. But then it occurred to me that the back door was unlocked. And that's when I ran to the back. So too did the woman who was at their front door. And I was dialing wow. 911. And then I came here. And I, I was like uh, trying to lock it and she just blew through the doors, just blew through the doors and grabbed me and started just hitting me. Linda was upstairs at the time. I just ran down here and she was beating Kristen there. And when she saw him, she 
grabbed me and pulled me down. You yelled at me, call and she grabbed, she grabbed my hair and pulled me in and then grabbed my mom's hair. And she, I saw her just beating my mother. Linda and eventually Kristen were able to get outside and yelled at a neighbor to also call 911. Montgomery County Police dispatchers got the emergency calls just after 8 p.m. In an open line with a female uh, screaming in the background, someone saying, get away from me. Then another call from a female saying that a female was beating another. It was so bizarre and frightening and... God, thank God my son was in here, and thank God she didn't grab like a knife. Like, I, I thought she was going to kill me. Kristen suffered a ruptured eardrum and has bruises on the side of her face. I've never been hit before. I've never been in a... Yeah, another, another white thing, a very white thing wow. to say, man. That's a very white Yo, thing to say, because... You probably she probably's never been in a fight. White girls don't be just fighting in the hall. Like they'll be doing all that shit at school and shit like that. Exactly. You don't make a public quick public service announcement. Yeah, go ahead. Gliders, if you don't have a gun in your home, I suggest you arm yourself now. Because this shit is not gonna get any better. And sons are gonna start venturing further and further. Take my word for it. Learn to protect yourself. Um, That's just guys, actually you know, anybody. These these are the anti gun crowd though. This is this is the this is the anti. These people are totally against guns. This this area right here, yeah. This is not a. This is this is yeah. a very liberal area. This is a suburb of Washington D.C. They're very liberal. They're totally against guns. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. If you gave them a gun, they wouldn't take it. Um, they they prefer to call the police and then protest the police when some black person in another city gets a bad <laughs> interaction with the police. But uh, yeah, they prefer to let the police do all the dirty work. A fight? At all. Like, I've never been punched. Linda has bruises and rug burns from being dragged through the house and across their front lawn. Neighbors held the woman till the police came. We were in the wrong place at the wrong time. In her house? Yeah, thank you, daughter. Thank you, daughter, for saying that. Thank you for saying that. You weren't in the wrong place at the wrong time. You were in your friggin' house. That's the same thing they said about Son Sonia Massey. She was in her house. These white women were in their house, just like San Sonya Massey. You think this is going to get any traction? No. This story is going to. This I'm going to be the only one to do a story about this. All your favorite, and I'm not talking about anybody in particular, but I, a lot of people are doing the crime thing now. None of them are going to touch this story. When I chop this up and put this out, I'm going to be the only one that have done this story. I promise you. You ain't going to see this story nowhere else on none of the mother channels that cover crime. I ain't going to talk about this, man. Not even close. This is, this these, these women were in their house, in their enclave, their little suburban enclave. Look at that shit. Look at this. This, this is this is somebody comes and does this. They pay somebody to come and do that shit. Look at these. Look at these doors, man. These. Look at it. Look at the back. The back setup. This is. This is. This is. This is these people live in a nice neighborhood. This is a very very nice neighborhood. Listen, this is the type of neighborhood where. You don't have to tell your neighbor, like, to turn the music down. Like, they're having a party. They know that, you know, it's a certain time. Oh, it's, it's 10 night. Turn the music down. It's, it's, it's 10 o'clock. Turn the music down. You don't have to tell them not to um, do things. You don't have to tell people. And then if you do, let's just say something happens where you have to request something from your neighbor. They're not going to fucking shoot you and shit. It's not going to be a 
fucking beef forever where like now somebody got to die because you ask somebody to, you know, put their trash out on the right there. You ask somebody to turn the music down or you ask somebody whatever. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to die. They can discuss things with each other. That's why they should. I, I think they should only live amongst each other. There's no way this woman who's never been in a fight who's never been punched, who opens her door when it's somebody knocks on, you knock on the door, she just opens the door. No way she should live around Boone Chica, who not only been in fights, but been in like brawls with like 10, five, 10 girls brawling at one time. She's been in like 15 of those in her life, whether it's at the club or school. She's Punched people plenty of times, been punched, knows like 40 niggas that been killed. Got shooters on speed dial right now as we speak. No way they should live in the same community. No way they should live in the same area. It's not fair. Tell me. Kristen suffered a ruptured eardrum and has bruises on the side of her face. I've never been hit before. I've never been in a, a fight at all. Like, I've never been punched. Linda has bruises and rug burns from being dragged through the house and across their front lawn. Neighbors held the woman till the police came. We were in the wrong place at the wrong time. In her house? Oh, oh, man. The suspect oh, is Latoya Owens, 40 years old, no fixed address. Latoya Owens. For a second, did you ever think, like, I didn't I didn't know who did it. I just knew it was a son lady. Nobody does. Nobody attacks people like that. Nobody fights like that. No woman. Women just don't fight. Their, their DNA doesn't lend them to fighting. They don't fight like that. The only women that fight like that are black women in Sun Britos. Women don't fight like that. And then when they do fight, it's like a fall. It's like it's very short and it's like hair pulling and slapping. And then it's over and it's easy to break up. You can break up two white women fighting. You can come in. One man can come in and just separate two white women. You can't separate two sisters. You need an army to separate two sisters when they fighting. Sad. During this afternoon, but we're hearing from and rug burns from being dragged through the house and across their front lawn. Neighbors held the woman till the police came. We were in the wrong place at the wrong time. In her house? The suspect is Latoya Owens, 40 years old, no fixed address. She's being charged with burglary and assault. She was supposed to have a bond hearing this afternoon, but we're hearing from the courthouse that she was so violent this afternoon, they couldn't get her into the courtroom. So that hearing has been delayed a week while the judge ordered her to undergo a mental health evaluation. She is being held without bond. I will tell you, Linda has lived in her house here for 50 years. And guys, she says nothing like this has ever happened before. <laughs> yeah, Pat and Dina, this